Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there, I'm Naomi Robson and welcome to the program. Now I'm joined today by psychologist and sex expert, Dr. Jan Hall, who's here to discuss what a woman can do if her man has lost interest in sex. Now, Dr. Jan, thanks for joining us. Now, what are the reasons why a man might lose interest in sex or just not be interested in sex? Well, there are physical reasons, Naomi, uh, such as um, uh, drinking too much, mm -hmm. um, using dope, perhaps, uh, or some kind of drugs. Uh, then you have the hormones, and men would like, um, like for it to be a medical reason. Yes. So, you know, they'll often go off to get their hormones checked, and it really actually is the main factor, but you should check your hormones. Yep. Um, just good old stress will definitely take the spring out of a man's step. So what are some of the other reasons? Is it fear of failure perhaps, performance failure in those cases? Well, you know, a man really does judge himself on his sexual performance and um, uh, a lot of men, once they're 50, their pipe works aren't working as well and that's why Viagra was, you know, looked upon as the, um, the magic wand. And so, um, you know, th those guys feel emasculated and, um, and very, very shy about uh, being exposed in that way. Are there perhaps other reasons as well? Um, I noticed you'd mentioned in, in one of your books that it could be that a man is, is fearful of commitment, perhaps. Well, that's right. And just uh, last week I had a, um, an ex-famous footballer whose name I won't reveal. Yes. Um, and the formula is that uh, in their younger days they were quite the man around town, you know, mm. the stud. Um, but they were um, doing it with somebody, or well, women right, left and centre were willing to have sex. So it was very much just a physical act. And then they really fall for somebody on a, on a deep emotional level. And in, in this case, um, the girl dumped him. And dumped him for somebody much older than, than he. And so um, in each of his next three relationships, the sex was fantastic at the beginning, but after three months, um, he just lost all interest. And, and he had no idea, but because I'm working with these men all the time, yeah. I suggested to him that it was the fear of commitment in, in regards to just never wanting to be hurt in that way again. Now, for some men, it's just fear of commitment. You yes, know, they're yeah. the rascals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just, just don't want to, you know, they like the novelty sex. Right, so what can a woman do? I mean, it's a difficult situation for a woman. For instance, if she's in a relationship with a man who was interested in sex and perhaps now he's lost interest, it's also a difficult one for her to bring up, isn't it? It's very delicate. It is very delicate. Mm. Um, and she has to uh, do her best to remain light about it. Um, so don't be angry. That's not going to help. Um, it's all about soothing his ego. So uh, keep reminding him of all the good things mm. um, that you know about him. Um, not just uh, his looks, but you know things that he does, and and um, that he has a kind heart. And um, certainly, don't talk about it late at night because uh, when we have deep and meaningfuls late at night, our biorhythms have changed. We get much, much more emotional. So pick your time. Isn't this a really difficult one for women, in the sense that? from their point of view, they may blame themselves, mightn't they? Well, women do. It's called attribution theory, and that is that women will always attribute whatever's gone wrong internally, and they'll say, it's my fault. So, you know, he doesn't want to have sex with me because I'm fat and ugly and undesirable. And, you know, I've seen some girls crying on my therapist's couch who are drop-dead gorgeous. Yeah. And um, any other man worth his salt would just be, you know, just wanting to ravish her and she's so perplexed and, and crying and says it must be my fault. So what can they do? Well look it's very difficult to get your man to see a therapist. Um, somehow or other though it, you could perhaps um, find a good book like mine, Sex Life Solutions, and uh, yeah. encourage him to read that. You can't push him or be demanding because men will just stonewall, you know, they just shut See, down. that's the problem, isn't it? Because it's, it's really difficult for a woman to broach the subject in the first place. I mean, how does she bring it up? What can she say? Well, Dr Jan's um, little trick is to do it as a story. 
so that you're not personalising it directly and saying, look, mate, you're a dud, you know. You say, look, I saw this movie or um, I was, had lunch with Sally and she was telling me about this situation and I kind of started thinking about, wouldn't it be good if we could improve our love life too? So that you're not pigeonholing him and making him feel like it's all his fault. And watch out for part two of what a woman can do if her partner has lost interest in sex. That's coming up.